Hello all, welcome to the router hacking video series on security tube. So in this video series, we will look at how to go ahead and do penetration testing and ethical hacking on routers. So let's get started. So here is a bit of router basics. I am hoping most of you are already familiar with what routers are and how they work. Uh, but here's a quick recap. So according to Wikipedia, a router is a networking device whose software and hardware are usually tailored to the tasks of routing and forwarding information. Now in very basic terms, what this means is routers are the basic building blocks for data transfer on the internet. So on the left hand side, I've shared a photograph of how a typical router would look like. This is the Cisco 7600 router series. So how does the internet today look? So basically, uh, you know, this could be you and here is your friend with whom you're sharing information. And basically the data is going through on the internet through a web of, uh, you know, hundreds and thousands of routers. We're basically using various routing protocols, the exact path your packet takes to the final destination is decided. So there are thousands of routers on the internet today and they are interconnected to facilitate data forwarding and the routing protocols they run are, uh, you know, RIP, which is route information protocol, BGP, uh, also called border gateway protocol. And there are many other protocols as well. A discussion of these protocols is beyond the scope of this tutorial. Uh, however, anyway, in the routing, uh, in the router hacking 101 series, we will not be looking into router attacks that will be saved for later. So this is the basic premise of what routers are and how they are interconnected to transfer data on the internet. Router insecurity. So these are a couple of router attacks which you will be looking at in this video series. The first is default accounts and passwords, uh, you know, which you are very familiar with out of box devices would be having default accounts and passwords such as admin, admin, system, system, etc. The other attack is dictionary or brute force based attacks on authentication mechanisms such as telnet, SSH, etc. So a lot of times, even though the administrator might change the default passwords and accounts, uh, still the passwords he might choose could be very simple, based out of dictionary words and thus can be easily cracked. The third kind of attack which we will look at is SNMP attacks. So SNMP is a very simple protocol which is used to monitor as well as manage devices. So in cases where the SNMP community string is very easy to guess or to crack, it is possible to mount SNMP attacks on routers. Finally, we will probably end up looking at a couple of misconfigurations which might lead to insecurities. So here is our test bit for the attacks. Basically, everything is going to be run inside VMware simply because, you know, I cannot afford a 7600, which might run into a couple of hundred thousand dollars. So basically, in this VMware environment, uh, we are going to have a router, a software based router using Viata, and then we'll have a hacker machine, which will be a backtrack machine. And both these would have connectivity uh, using the IP layer. So here are the tools of the trade. I'll be using VMware Workstation, which you can download from VMware.com. A trial version is available, which can also be used. For the hacker machine, I'll be using Backtrack, which can be downloaded from here. And finally, Viata, which is an open source router VPN firewall, can be downloaded from Viata.com. So I'd urge you to download all these tools and create the setup and follow the attacks, which I'll be teaching you. Well, the final thing I'd like to mention in this introductory presentation is that this is just 101. Advanced router hacking consists of finding and exploiting router software vulnerabilities, finding and exploiting misconfigurations, routing attacks which include RIP attacks, OSPF and BGP attacks and a host of other things. We will cover this in a later separate series because these will require a more advanced dealing and knowledge. 
Okay, so well, that's all for this, uh, you know, very quick presentation. In the next video, we will look at how to go ahead and launch the attacks which we were talking about. Thank you.